in the last couple of years i'm doing reviews regarding handheld systems i have never seen something like this before i can tell you i did quite some different reviews with original emulation handhelds you name it i did a review about it but this thing is something completely different and it's also that is something you don't see very often because not of the price but this is something that they are making custom these are nowadays handhelds you can buy from aliexpress and some different places and where you can play your original playstation 2 games and this is not emulation and the reason what makes this thing so unique that they basically use original playstation 2 parts in combination of course with special parts that i'll show you later in the video and made this playstation 2 portable device so pretty awesome i think it's time to remove the screen protector and just show you what are we going to get with this playstation 2 portable device I'm a huge fan of the PlayStation 2 console. Back in the day, with the launch in 2000, I owned myself the FAT model and I had so many fond memories of it because the PlayStation 2 is just a great system to play even for nowadays. Comes together with this 7 inch beautiful IPS display, this is going to be a blast playing the old games from the past. In this video I just wanted to show you what you're going to get, we're also going to do a teardown and I just wanted to give you my personal opinion about this product. I played quite some time with it just to check it out for you guys, what are we going to get and what are the flaws for this device. Keep in mind that these products are just made by a person, this is not a big manufacturer that is going to make these things. There's just a small group of people on Aliexpress, for example, who make these devices and that make them very expensive to buy and of course quite unique. But okay, so you're interested in getting yourself a PlayStation 2 Portable and you have some money to burn. And I just wanted to show you what can you expect and what is the quality of this build of this custom made product. When holding it in my hands, the first impression that it feels very heavy. Besides the point that it's heavy, it feels also very comfortable for my hands. Alright, so at the left side we're finding the analog stick. The analog stick can be compared with an original PlayStation 2 controller, so I'm very pleased to see that. The D-pad itself is very responsive and didn't have any problems with it. I'm playing some games, I find the joysticks very responsive. I did play quite some time some shooting games and I can already tell you that it feels very comfortable and I had a very pleasant experience. And at the last side also finding this LED that will indicate how full your batteries are. This thing will give you a playtime for 3 up to 4 hours. You will need to charge it with this very strange 8.4 volt 5 amp AC adapter. So you plug it in on the top of the system and it's ready to go to be charged. At the left button we're finding the wiggly button and this is for powering on the system and also for resetting and when you're in the game press it you will basically reset the full system and go back to the main menu. So at the right side we're finding the select and start button at the right bottom. Also we're having the same joystick so at the left side that we're going to need for the shooters. Okay so the buttons have a very nice long travel and feel like the original controller. So there's nothing wrong with it but, but I did notice with my version here that I need to press the button very hard to make the contact and that is something a little bit annoying if you want to play a game and you need to press the buttons very hard. So let's take a close look at the top row of buttons that we can find on the PlayStation 2 Portable. And the first one is the S button and S is for switching between modes. It's not really something you're going to use but if you're having a problem you can switch very easily pressing the S button from HDMI back to the signal for the PlayStation 2 console that is built inside. The next button we are having the M or the M4 menu. With the menu there are some interesting things. It's basically like an LCD TV. So what you're going to get is when pressing the M button, you're going to get the option to adjust the brightness and all the other stuff that you're going to find within television. But I think it's pretty interesting that we also have the option to have the display ratio in 4x3 or 16x9. Because if you're just a fan of the original express ratio, you can switch between them. I don't care about the expert ratio, but if you are a really purist and you want to have the original express ratio of the game, this can be a very interesting option because a lot of Chinese handhelds didn't have this. So just wanted to show you that we have the possibility to change this in the menu of the LCD display itself. For volume control we're having the plus and minus over here. We can also use it for navigating through the menu that I already shown you before. For volume control very easily press it when in the game and the system is powered on. And of course on the right signal you can just adjust the volume very easily like this but if you look at the quality it got very good stereo sound the mid and high are very good there's no bass at all but when you're putting it let's say in higher volume you can hear it's going to give some issues if 
if you don't go higher up than 50% of the volume, you will be okay. Well, I've already shown you the charger port and here we have an on and off switch. Just turn it on and off very easily like that. If you want to add games very easily with a USB thumb drive, for example, we use it through the USB connection. The only downside I know of is that when we're using the USB, it is an USB 1.0. It can give you some minor problems with some games with an intro, for example. Or not at all, as you can see over here. But when it comes to the shoulder buttons, I think these are perfectly positioned. And if you want to play in shooter, it is not a problem at all. But I did notice something, if you're looking at the buttons itself, there is a minor quality issue. You need to do something about it, because my left trigger is a little bit sticky sometimes, and that is pretty damn annoying. When you're looking up this handheld on AliExpress or another selling page, you can see most of them are in different color. Because I asked the seller to make them in special color, there are quite different options out there. But what I did notice when you're looking at the quality of the paint job, it's pretty damn poor. There are already some color differences and there are some damages over here. I was already afraid that it was going to happen because I read some Aliexpress feedbacks and this was just a common problem with these systems. Very shame because I think I can repaint it but I need to disassemble the system itself and that is going to be a really big project. Alright so let's power it on, the next thing we need to do, touch the wiggle button, then it will boot up the PlayStation 2 that is inside. It will run on free Mac booth and this is a very good way to run your PlayStation games from a hard disk or a USB thumb drive. But there is also a possibility to play your PlayStation 1 games. Adding the games to the PlayStation 2 loader will not be very easy. You will need some extra tools like software on your PC for converting the files and putting your USB thumb drive in the right format so the OPL can read out your games. Alright so let's open it up. At the right side we have a screw number one. At the left side we're having screw number two. And at the bottom we're finding a smaller version that is number three. Then we're having here number four at the left. At the top we're finding number five. And of course number six. And these six screws hold the two shells together. Nothing more. Alright so let's open it up very gentle. You can see that the shoulder buttons are 3D printed and just loose when opening up the system they will fall out that easily. This is not normal, the battery needs to be in this compartment over here. I'll take a close look at it later. So this is what you're going to get inside. Okay, so let's begin with this side, but you can see we're having on both sides the batteries. And that's the reason why we had quite some weight in this handheld. Sadly, one of them are loose, so I need to tie them up when I'm closing the system again. These are our basic 80-650 MP batteries that you can buy. So if you want to replace them, you need to do a little bit of soldering, but it is possible. So here we have in the main board, this is the memory card. As you can see, it's soldered with a special PCB on the main board. And this also contains the Mac Free Boot, and we can save some games. Okay, but the fan itself is a little bit loose, so they didn't use enough hot glue. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But in general, this is what you're going to get with the PlayStation Portable and how they made it. And when you're looking at the other side, here is where it's going to get very interesting. Because this part is made of a completely new PCB. What I do like about it is that they are all connected with connectors. And that is something that is very interesting and also very convenient. Because if you want to do some replacement or you want to just rip it apart and do a repaint, you can just do that very easily. You still need to do some little bit of soldering because I did notice some parts are just soldered together. At the beginning I was very afraid they will go ape shit with the hot glue on this thing. But what I really like about it is that you just clamp shells back together very easily. The shoulder button is a little bit tricky, put them in the right position, but it's just easy peasy. So let's take a close look at the gameplay, let's play some games and let's see how they are running on the PlayStation 2 Portable. Outrun are one of these few games that have support for 480p and they look amazing on this IPS display.
I think you need to be a very big PlayStation 2 fan and you want to experience the original PlayStation 2 games on the go. Keep in mind this is just an original mainboard so this is no emulation whatsoever. It's pretty sad that for the price range that you're paying for this, if you look at the my version that it is not perfect and it is flawed in many ways. Despite of the problems it has, I think I can maybe manage to fix them and make a separate video about it. But for now I just wanted to show you what I received and what are you going to get outside and from the inside. Hope you have a better idea. Consider subscribing to the channel. It would be awesome to have you here in the Wicked family. Hit the little bell and I will see you in the next video.